the F-105, Vietnam was the right place at the right time. Hey guys, welcome to another Heavy Metal Diecast video, and here we have another one now from Hobby Master from the 172 Air Power series. We have a Republic F-105 Thunder Chief, and uh, the F-105 Thunder Chief was an American uh, fighter bomber introduced into the United States Air Force in 1958. Around 833 aircraft were built in all variants before its uh, retirement in 1984. And the F-105 was one of the main attack aircraft of the Vietnam War, with uh, these aircraft flying over 20,000 sorties, uh, with the loss of 382 aircraft, unfortunately. Um, these things flew a, a lot of missions over Vietnam or North Vietnam. And uh, this particular one is the Arkansas Traveller, as flown by Colonel Paul Douglas in the 388th Tactical Fighter Wing, based in Thailand in 1968-69, and we'll open it up and have a little quick look at it in the box, and it is a pretty big unit in there, these these studs are pretty big, and um, it does have some uh, little specifications in the flap, as per usual with these Hobby Master ones, and uh, as per usual, these are no good looking them in the box, we will get this out of the box and have a real good look at it. So here we have it out of the box. So this uh, this is actually an F-105D single seat variant, um, which was a primary aircraft uh, delivering heavy bomb loads against military targets over Vietnam. We'll we'll just pop this out and oh, try and get this out. I hate popping these out because. I think I just put a, my sausage fingers just might have put a hole in the packet. Um, it does have a, a baggie, of course, here with the um, landing gear and the bay doors. And you also get this, which is a fully opened uh, engine exhaust. And some little optional extras and some pilots in there. And obviously in this baggie right here, um, it does have uh, all of the ordnance that we will be uh, equipping this stud shortly with. But I will move this box out of the way. And we will have a good look at it. Here we go. This is this is nice. So this aircraft was actually uh, flown, as I said, by Colonel Paul Douglas, who would not only fly a full tour of missions over North Vietnam, he was also the commander of the 388th Tactical Fighter Wing. And uh, not only that, he was also a World War II veteran. And uh, he was a flying ace who flew P-47 Thunderbolts over Europe and ended the war with eight aerial victories, as well as destroying 27 um, aircraft on the ground. And uh, his P-47 was also known as the Arkansas Traveller, which this aircraft is as well. And we'll just turn the aircraft around and have a little look on this side. It's got some great detail. This is really nice. So he did have a career spanning over 30 years in the United States Air Force and uh, Douglas would later retire in around 1970 and he did unfortunately pass away in December of 2002, aged 83. And uh, his aircraft here does have some fantastic... So he's got his aerial victories there from World War II. That is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, you don't see um, too many modern aircraft with uh, Schwastikers on the on the on the sides of their aircraft and there's his little arkansas traveler on the side that is pretty cool i reckon this is neat and i paid 150 dollars for this and i reckon that wasn't too bad and the underneath is pretty pretty clean as well and uh what we'll do well since we've got it uh, flipped over what we'll do is we'll kit out the thud and uh come back with it all set up so i'll just quickly outline the ordnance you get a pair of sidewinders to chuck on on the outer pylons there are also these tanks that go on the inner pylons. You do get this tank that goes on where uh, along the uh, central fuselage, but you also do get this one to put on the central fuselage if you want to use the stand. So this one actually goes through and you can uh, place it, the aircraft on the stand and still keep that ordnance on, which is pretty cool. So I thought I'd show you that as well. You also get this, which is a fully opened uh, engine exhaust. Uh, or you can keep the one that's on it, which is uh, in the closed position. I thought that's pretty cool. And mine also came with this extra ordnance, which will not uh, obviously fit on the aircraft. So that will go in the spares box. 
So here we have Colonel Paul Douglas's uh, F-105D Thunder Chief all kitted out. And uh, it does come up nice. These modules just drop straight in. And um, well, that front wheel does turn, which is pretty cool if you like that. But the... Um, yeah, they very stiff. These ones do turn, but they are quite resistant. So I assume all wheels will turn, but uh, these ones are obviously a little bit resistant. And these just drop straight in, and you just uh, drop the ordnance in. So you've got your cent central uh, fuselage pile on there, and then your ordnance that go in the wingtips. And they just drop straight in without a, without a drama. And I reckon uh, this does set up nicely. These also move as well, so that's a little bit of an extra function. And of course, you can remove this and put that um, open exhaust nozzle on if you wish to do that. And what we'll do is we'll uh, turn the Arkansas Traveller over. And there it is. It does look a treat. This looks... as I, I love the Vietnam camouflage. These, are, these look really, really nice, these aircraft. And I reckon this does kit out nicely, this stud. And it, it looks pretty cool. It is not a small aircraft, so they are quite large. And I reckon this does look very good indeed. So what I'll do is I'll put it on the deck here. And it sits there nicely. And uh, I'll, I'll zoom in a fraction for you. And I reckon it's uh, it's, it's a beast. <laughs> this is an a awesome looking aircraft. I, as I've said before, I've said it plenty of times, I do like the Vietnam era camouflage on the uh, US aircraft. They do look fantastic in this uh, three-tone camouflage. And hopefully you do agree with me as well. I reckon it, it's uh, very novel having the uh, those uh, aerial victories on the side there from World War II as well. That is pretty cool. And I reckon this is a nice looking example by Hobbymaster. So once again, this is uh, from the 172 Air Power Series as well. It is the Republic F-105D Thunder Chief, the Arkansas Traveller, as flown by Colonel Paul Douglas who, from the, the 388th Tactical Fighter Wing, which was based in Thailand and, and it was during his... Uh, tour of duty through, through 1968 to 1969 when he was flying combat missions as well as he was the commander of that fighter wing as well and uh, i will wind this up if you did enjoy the video at least throw us a bit of a like and uh if you have yet to subscribe feel free to do so i will take the happy snaps of this traveler and chuck them up at the conclusion of the video which is winding up and you can check this beast out without my sausage fingers in the way and hopefully you will get a good look at it thank you once again for checking out another one of our videos i appreciate your time as per usual all right guys thank you very much you have a fantastic rest of your day cheers